Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of FS Passengers with me and we heard 37. So our last flight, uh, we ended up here in Dominica at DTDPD. Uh, that is Douglas Charles Airport in Dominica. And in this flight, we got a sh another, well, short flight. They've all been short lately. Uh, 60 miles down here to the island of Martinique. And Martinique, Martinique is, I guess, a uh, part of France. Like I said, all these, all these seem to be either their own country or part of uh, European countries. But uh, yeah, so here in Dominica, we'll take a look at the weather here, the wind. Uh, it's coming from the east, kind of southeast. We'll take off on runway 9. That's a heading of 084 degrees. And in Martinique, see it's coming from the east as well. And uh, we're going to land here on runway 10. That's a hang of 095 degrees. You can see the ILS frequency here is 109.90. Uh, airport elevation is 13 feet. So there's actually supposed to be, I thought, like three airports here in Martinique. This is the only one I can find. I was going to fly to this one anyway. This is their uh, international airport, uh, long runway and everything. Uh, so that's why I picked this one. I, like I said, if I want to zoom out, I don't even see any other airports listed on here. Anyhow, uh, we'll come in here. We probably won't use the ILS. I don't like, there's no real point to do those you know, long approaches. So we'll come here, approximately heading 235. Uh, we'll fly in our pattern. At, uh, let's see, heading of 275 degrees. Make our left turn uh, 185 and then down to the runway. So with all of that, let's go ahead and move on over to the plane. All right, everybody, here we are at the plane here in Dominica. Great old Twin Otter. Still no one here at this airport. I think I've got it all turned up to 100%. It's not a lot of planes going on at these uh, airports here. And these are, we're flying to the bigger airports, but I guess, you know, with the world of AI, they probably don't, you know, have lists uh, of those kind of airlines flying here. Anyhow, we can go in here. I was about to start her up again. Let's go ahead and get FS Passers going. That's always good. Still 19 people might still need to mess with the uh, ticket price, I guess. All right, well, we'll just throw her down to like 40% again. I think that's what we did last time. We were able to fill it up with cargo. Yeah, 95%, so 600 pounds. That'll work. Let's go ahead and set the type to normal flight and set our destination as TFFF. Martinique, I have no idea. I, I took French in college and, and high school and everything. Le Lamentin? I don't know. That's about, as, that's about as good as I can do. Load her up immediately. Make sure we got our people. Alright, there we go. Let's just have these people throw on their seatbelts. Alright, we're on external power. Go ahead and turn on the DC master switch. I'm going to go ahead and put the buzz side to normal. Like I said, I don't know if you should do that. Because I know they obviously have something to do with the generators. But I thought normally you would turn the bus tie on anyway. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Anti-collision position lights. And let's see. I guess we can go ahead and get her started up. Move my view over here so we can watch the gauges. All right. So let's go ahead and right engine. 12% give her fuel all right so that looks good on the right engine let her settle here for a second all right let's go ahead left engine 10 that's about 12% right there give it fuel Everything looks good there. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and turn the generators on. And then we'll switch this over to battery power. This all looks good. Window heat. Let me uh, switch out of the speed now. So I can get to everything. Pedo heat coming on. Bleed air. I believe that's all we need. 
All right, so let's go ahead, parking brake coming off. Go ahead and do our pushback. Uh, then the heading is 084 degrees for takeoff. Here we go, 084, it's back behind us. We can get onto the runway right there. I was gonna say, I don't know if we should turn or have it turn us because there is a fuel station right behind us. Well, over here to the left. I guess we could have turned right there, but we'll just let her push us back and we'll go right here to take the runway. All right, parking brake coming off. Hope I don't forget that transponder. I was about to go to it. Taxi light coming on. It seems like we're forgetting something. Keep getting that feeling. Flaps going to 10. By the way, we're going to go up to about 6,500 feet. All right, let's see if she moves. She isn't even moving. Like, come on now. Move, girl. Are you kidding me? Like, that doesn't make any sense why I should have to bring the power up that much to get her to go. Come on. And then she goes so fast she gets hard to control for a second. Alright, stop right there. Stupid plane, I swear. I love it, but there's just, that's like something stupid like that. Alright, lane lights are on, strobe light is on, no smoking, fasten your belts. Alright, that should be it. Transponder, we'll go ahead and turn that on. Alright, there it's on. Checking to the left, I don't see anybody out there. I don't see anyone out to the right. So let's go ahead and get on out of here. By the way, CDI, that to the corner. There's lots of runway over here to our right. Can't get her lined up. And off we go. For a little bit more power. Just trying to keep it out of the red. Let's go ahead and rotate. Alright, we can go ahead and retract the flaps. There's kind of a weird sound, like a washing sound. Not sure what that's all about. Alright. I had a little too nose up there. A thousand feet a minute is more like it. I had up around two. Alright, let's head out to the right here. Head on down to Martinique. And she really wants to bring the nose up. Now she's sinking a little bit. Let's see if we can't catch a little more of the island here. Here in Dominica. Although I didn't see much uh, when we were flying in. I'm not sure there's much of anything. I'm gonna stay a little left here. Just because of the terrain. Let's see what the GPS says. 179. There you go, 179. 
fly down the coast here. Yeah, I don't see any signs of civilization around here. Uh, I'm trying to find my taxi light. There we go. Although, actually, I guess since we're in a fixed aircraft, or fixed wheel aircraft, I guess technically we're supposed to leave it on. Drifting a little to the right. We haven't reached that line yet. I'm going to go ahead and flip on the autopilot. I'm going to hit indicated airspeed. And let her climb on up to about 6,500 feet. There's a little bit, there's a, a few houses there and there. Let's take a look outside real quick. I guess there's a smattering there. There's the airport, there's just nothing really around here. I don't know if that's how it is in real life, of course. Dominica, flying to Dominica was a request by somebody. I don't even think I'd ever heard of Dominica until somebody requested it. All right, let's go ahead and uh, hit nav here. Got about 900 feet to go. Let's take a look here at the GPS. 54 miles is about 22 minutes. About 400 feet to go. I'm gonna bring back the power or bring down the nose as it tries to keep that airspeed. Bring back the power a little more. And we'll hit the altitude hold, of course, at 6,500. Come on, almost there. And 6,500. I'll go ahead and give her a little more power. Bring the props back to 90. I don't know if I should bring them back anymore. What is our power set at? I think last time we were around 60. It's There we go. Down to about 60. Still says about 19 minutes. I think last time we had a little bit better, a little better airspeed. But everything is good. 18 minutes, about 50 miles. I don't know if that'll be it or not. Anyhow, uh, there's nothing really else to see. There wasn't hardly anything to see in Dominica. Unfortunately, hopefully there should be some good stuff in Martinique because it looked like that might have been uh, be a bigger area So I'll go ahead and speed up you be right back
All right, everybody's slowing it down here. Martinique, lots of uh, lots of water. That's actually kind of how it looked like uh, when I was looking at some pictures online. A lot of land broken up with water, little channels and stuff. Let's go to a heading of about two three zero. As we head down to about a thousand feet, that'll put us a thousand above. Let's take a look at the airport. We're only about nine miles out. I think I should have let her go a little bit more, but it should be over in there. Yeah, I headed it headed over a little too soon. We cut it too soon. I guess that's it right over there. Let's go back over. That was my screw up. I thought we were going to be doing a little better. I was trying to come in at about 45 degrees. Screwed that up. There she is. That's not bad right there. Then we'll fly a heading of 275. So let's go ahead and set the air. Our heading will be 185, so I'll set the course to that. Or sorry, 095. There we go, 095. And we won't have to set it. We could set it if we want a 1099. Alright, so all is good there. Not sure why it says keep trimming up and down. Because we're not, we're going down to a certain altitude. It's not like we have the altitude hold. Still can't really see the runway. We're only about five miles out. I guess that would be it right there. Just kind of flashed a little bit. We should have let it go a little longer and come in right here, but. Coming down at about a thousand feet a minute, which is good. I set up, of course, to indicate airspeed. I gotta say, man, whenever I learned to do that, this, it made this plane so much better to fly. I could not descend. I, I could never figure out what the hell was going on. But once you learn how to do the use the indicated airspeed for uh, climbing or descending, it makes a big, big difference. We could just figure out taxing, but everybody else seems to have problems with it too. So I don't feel bad. Two seven five. There we go. Yeah, a lot more scenery here in Martinique. Docks over there. All right, about 400 feet to go. I'm gonna start increasing the power a little bit, bring the nose up. About 300 feet to go. I want to move to 095, heading off. Oh, you stupid thing. There we go, 095. Autopilot coming off. Let's go ahead and make our turn here and take that off. All right, pulling back on the power just a little bit. All 
All right, flaps going to 10. Give her just a little more power. Don't want to slow down too much. I think we may have turned a little too quickly. Yeah. I need to get a little bit closer. Last two flights, I don't think we got close enough when we were going downwind. Because I turned pretty sharp as well, and we keep not coming in correctly. Or at least not straight. Not like I would like to. There she is. She actually says we're a little low. So I'm going to increase the power a little bit. There we go. We're just slightly low. There she be. Feels like we're coming in kind of slow. Man, with that little thing, that's kind of annoying. Bringing the power back. I'm going to have to bring the power back a lot because I just noticed how our speed got so low. And I want to put out more flaps here. Need to hold the nose up for just a second. Alright, now flaps can go to 20. Now we can get her set back up. There, we're on the glide slope. Increase the power a little bit more. I tell you, moving the this power and hit flaps and everything, this plane makes a huge difference. That was not good. Oh, jeez. Power up, man. No day. I tell you, I tried moving it with the mouse instead of the scroll wheel. And of course, it had to just be that I got it the wrong way. Now we had a nice approach going, and I just had to screw it up like that. Notice we're getting a couple flickers with the ground gremlins again. I was hoping I'd fix that. See if we can't do good here. Oh, done a little bit at the end. Probably pitched up a little bit. Uh, will we make it? Barely. Oh, and hell, the, the buildings aren't even right here. We could have just probably gone on down to the next one. Instead of risking it. Alright, we'll stop her right here. Probably just scorch the brakes. Landing lights off. Uh, we can go ahead and turn the strobes off. Window heat, you can go off. Pedo heat can go off as well. I'm going to go ahead and stop that recording of that. I don't even know where the buildings are. I guess, Oh, they're down there. Yeah, it just should have gone on down, down further. All right, let's head on down there. Yeah, I was I was all over the brakes. I thought the buildings might be right here. Looks like we're going from a paved runway or taxiway to a gravel. Come on, plane! Don't you screw around. And then back to paved. That's kind of odd. Yeah, I don't know any ground notice any ground gremlins here though. Although I did see a couple coming in. I'll have to check and see if I still have uh, buffer pools on. 
Because I, did, I didn't see any on the last flight, I remember. Which was really nice. I don't want to see it. Uh, the, the terminal area on this airport in real life is kind of a unique shape. I wonder if they... It's kind of a rounded... Kind of at an angle. I don't know if they modeled that. Probably not in FSX. Of course, they never really look anything like the real life. I guess we should go down to the terminal area. I don't know what this is. This be a more of a parking area for us? I don't know. I think we'll just go out down to the terminal area. Go check it out. Oh, come on, Twin Otter. Put that to zero. Turn that off. Oh, uh, transponder. Coming off. Yeah, there's like no planes. It seems like a, a while since we've seen any planes. Like there's not even like general aviation planes. I, I think World of AI, I don't know if it kind of kicks some of those out or not. I hope not, because I would like to see something, you know? Since I guess these airports aren't really included in a uh, world of AI in the packages. Or the airlines either that don't fly to them or what? I'm not sure why. Guess I'm trying to think. I guess we should go over to the right because it's over here. There's all the jetways. Obviously, we don't want that. Yeah, you can see how it's like rounded. Us, so it's silly similar in shape to what it would be in real life. Obviously, it's not gonna look like it. But the curvature or whatever I thought was kind of unique. And actually, I did do that. So that went to that jetway, so maybe we'll take this left right up here. Oh, don't stop now, girl. You were doing so good. We Oh, it was a straightaway. When it was doing so good. Don't stop yet. Stop right here. All right, parking brake coming off or on, I should say. Leaders off. Uh, tax light can go off. Fasten the seat belts. No smoking. If it was my airline, we'd allow smoking. Uh, let's see here. Even though it's against the rules, let's go ahead and turn external power on. Turn the generators off. Go ahead, cut the power. All right, position lights, anti-collision lights. Go ahead and take your belts off. I'll open up the doors and then you can get on out. Looks like everything is off here except the bus ties. And kill that bus tie and we'll turn the DC master switch off. Get out the plane. Doesn't look too bad, Sky. I'm not sure I like those clouds. I can change that in Rick's. I don't know. They look a little puffy. There's not really much definition to them. I like a little more definition. They're just kind of big puffs. <laughs> Although maybe it could just be the clouds here. Maybe we won't see them much. I don't know. In other places. 
See if I can get up here real quick. It's kind of cool how it just kind of curved around. It wasn't just one big street building. In real life, at least. Yeah, it's just kind of curved. So I guess that's at least similar to what it's supposed to look like. Of course, keep in mind, it's FSX. And, like, nobody here. But at least there's some more scenery, although we didn't get a chance to look at much of it. But it does look like a cool place. One of those places, like, where everybody has to own a boat to get around. All right, well, they're all out. Let's just go ahead and end this thing. All right, so it was 59 nautical miles. Uh, time airborne, 31 minutes, 2 seconds. Flight time was 39 minutes, 10 seconds. Time on the ground, 10 minutes, 43 seconds. Average speed, 115.42 knots. Climb time, 4 minutes, 16 seconds. Cruise time, 19 minutes, 33 seconds. Average cruise speed, 146.78 knots. Uh, descent time, 7 minutes, 13 seconds. Landing speed, 69.95 knots. Came down 195.38 feet a minute. So this was nice. Landing pitch, 5.83 degrees. Landing weight, 11,949 pounds. Total fuel used, 245 pounds. 74 on the climb, 134 on the cruise. Uh, using a 412 an hour, it seems a bit high. Uh, set fuel used, 37 pounds. Yeah, 412 an hour, that's... I'm trying to think off the top of my head, was it 6.7 pounds per gallon? It seems a bit high, I don't know. Ticket income, $567. Cargo income, $90. Uh, let's see, we spent $181 on fuel, $15 for the airport taxes, $38 for the insurance. Total real income, just $423. Times the 50 was $21,150. The fleet brought in $27,582. Uh, so the total income was 48732 Uh They thought we should be 100%, so we increased 0.13% to 98.69. Getting close to that uh, 99%. Uh, overall flight result perfect. 230 pilot bonus points. Very nice landing 50. Perfect flight, no problems. Very satisfied passengers. 150. And landing at the scheduled airport, plus 30. So let's go up here. I want to do one thing. Company manager. I keep getting 19 people. And see, it says that our ticket price is low. I'm going to move it down $10 to $260. Maybe that can guess. But if it's low, but I mean, we can't even get like a full, you know, get full of passengers. All right. Here we are in Martinique. I don't know what's to the south of us, but that's where we're going to keep on heading, at least for a little while. Go ahead and close that door. Yeah, I don't. I didn't really look at the map. I should have. I looked at the map and saw Martinique, and that's why we flew here. But I didn't check what was uh, after that. Yeah, we'll just uh, keep heading down uh, towards South America, down to Aruba. I think, what is that? I keep wanting to think about that other country uh, down there I kind of wanted to go to. Think of it as like a pirate, a Curacao, that's it. I think of pirates for Curacao. All right, but anyhow, that's probably where we'll go less. I don't want to really get into South America and Venezuela or anything. Well, there is one place near, I don't know if it's Venezuela or if it's close to it. Those are really, Barakia, Banakia, something like that. Maybe we might go there. We went there one time in an air hall and it was freaking beautiful. I always said if we, uh, we, Create more bases and stuff in Air Hauler too. I want to go there because it was a really nice place. Anyhow, that's going to be it for this episode, everybody. I hope you all did enjoy it. I'll catch you guys on the next flight.